Today I'm gonna show you how to change a manual hub locks on 2002 F250, replacing original factory ones with aftermarket. The track is F250 Ford uh, V8 5.4 engine and has seven, about 78,000 miles and those manual hub locks are very hard to turn now uh, due to age and so I'm gonna show you what's available, what, what I'm replacing is with a mile marker brand 449 SS manual hub locks today I'm gonna show you how to remove the old ones and to install these ones tools you're gonna need as you can see on the ground uh, near those pliers and small something pry bar, pry bar or screwdriver to take it off the, uh, the cover of the wheel so let's it's very simple easy to take it off so let's start I'm gonna set the camera on something that I can uh, show you how it gets done so hopefully you can see so right there I think that should be good enough first step is to take this off this cover it's a very easy process and then we're gonna do take this um, manual original factory hub block. We're gonna take that off using those needle pliers. And there is a lock ring. Here you take it off. That's what it is. Take that off and just pull pull the manual lock off, hub and pull the manual hub lock off. Very easy to take it off unless the truck has been sitting or something you know build up some rust you might need some wd-40 or pb blaster to get this loosen up here to install to take it off so mile marker comes with everything you need it comes with a tool uh snap rings uh everything so and with instruction how to take it apart and how to install it very easy very simple so we'll take this off as you can see it's it's packed it's very nice product it's very easy to install right there so this is my marker mm it has a lock it has free position and a lock very easy to turn back and forth so we're going to take those two bolts off i don't know if you can see or not as you can see with uh with this tool it comes with it so as you can see I'm taking this off Just I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, I'm doing it by myself, so the quality of the video might be not so good, but you get that an idea. You don't have to take it anywhere, you can do it yourself. If you can do brakes or something like that, very easy, as you can see. Very, you know, simple, but very good design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this in inside just like this and depends on the application what you have i have manual hub blocks originally but if you have a factory uh, arrow blocks arrow and uh free it, it, the, it's the same will be same process but you might need to read uh, the instruction there's more details on how to do this you might need a conversion kit too so it's a very easy process. I did the other side in a couple of minutes. As long as you line up with all the, that's it. It's in. 
you have a two set of uh, lock rings this one here this type and you have this type I choose to use this type of lock rings very easy just install there push it in with your fingers that's it done next step is to install this uh, the cap itself and uh, according to the instructions it has to be in three position when you install it just lines up uh, this the spring make sure this end goes in far up to here and it's good to go that's it put those uh, six allen head screws back in and you're done Just make sure it's all lined up, otherwise you're not going to be able to put those head balls or screws, whatever you want to name them, call them. There are six of them, and I bought them on Amazon, so if you buy them, uh, make sure you register. They are lifetime warranty through manufacturer, through a mile marker, so if they do break, you know, you don't have to buy a new set, just contact them. The hardest part will be just to take this, <laughs> to get those bolts out, out of the bag. That's so far the hardest part been to, for me. Not to take in or put it back. It's, this is very easy. Very simple. So a little bit more, make sure they're tight enough, don't over tighten them, so you don't want to break them. It. According to the instructions, it says you're supposed to um, try it, put it into lock and free, make sure it's working. And what you can do is put it into lock, grab a, a drive shaft with your hand and try to spin it. If you cannot spin it, when you lock the other side, it means it's locked here. So, take it on the road, just try to make sure it's working. That's it.